everybody, thank you so, so much for tuning in. Today's video is another stone-inspired DIY. Last week when I created my stone mosaic mirror, I asked if you wanted to see more of the stone DIYs and you guys said yes. And while I was making that, I really thought that it would look really cool as a tray or a centerpiece with some candles and a subscriber even suggested that. So I created just that today. I did two versions and since Dollar Tree carries a ton of stones and gems, you can combine them them, you can make mosaic designs, the possibilities are endless for this. I really hope that you enjoy this video and stick around by subscribing to this channel. Let's go ahead and get started. For this project, I'm going to be using two Dollar Tree pizza pans. If you use just one, it does move around a bit. So I like to use two. Now I'm just going to remove everything on the pizza pans and they fit perfectly on top of each other. And now you can see it doesn't bend as much. So I'm going to attach them using E6000, making sure that they're straight before I attach them. And I am going to add a super generous amount all over the inside of the pan, but also on the very edges, because remember, this is going to be a really, really heavy project considering that we have stones all over the place. So add as much glue as you can. If you don't wanna waste a ton of E6000, then you can buy whatever glue you feel comfortable with. I just like using this one. So now that all of my E6000 is on there, I'm going to add my second pan on top. And then I'm gonna be using my Dollar Tree clips to make sure that everything is in place. I'm also gonna add some weight on top. So I'm adding a can and making sure that this dries really well overnight. So now that it's dry, I'm going to remove everything. And you wanna make sure that everything is dry before you complete this, so just test it out really quickly. Make sure that nothing is lifting and that there's no wet glue anywhere since you did add so much glue. So as you can see, everything is staying together, so everything is completely dry, and now we can move on to spray painting this. You can also keep it the same color. So I used this multi-texture um, Rust-Oleum paint, and I really loved the texture of it. However, I hated the nozzle. Everything was really uneven and took forever to spray paint because I had to keep removing the nozzle and I'll show you right now. So the texture is really nice and you can't tell it's a pizza pan because it feels like ceramic or actually it feels like concrete to be honest with you. So it still has a tiny bit of a bend to it but with the stones, it shouldn't be an issue at all. So now I'm going to show you the nozzles. As you can see, the regular nozzles for regular spray paint Rust-Oleum is this thick one which works with the gun. This one I had to keep removing and I'm pretty sure that they have this nozzle because it's textured so it's has like pieces of sand in it but it was really difficult to use just letting you know in case you wanted to try it for a big project so now i'm going to be using these stones from the dollar tree i'm also going to be using these gems since i'm making two and with my e6000 i'm going to be adhering the stones you don't have to i'm also going to be using this key sorry that it's so dirty and all you have to do is slip it through the top and bend it down and it helps you get all of your e6000 out so I did this in my mirror decor and it helped me save a lot of glue, but basically you're just going to add your glue, spread it with the tip as much as you can, and then once it's completely spread, you're going to start adding your stones. And as you can see, E6000 naturally seeps out of the tube, so you're gonna put it right on the pan to make sure you're not wasting any of the glue. So while that's seeping out, you put your stones out and then you spread that glue again and then place it right next to it so it can keep doing the same thing and you're not wasting any of that glue. So I'm adding random stones, however they fit. I'm not really trying to make this perfect, but I am trying to get flat stones so that whatever I put on top of this can be somewhat leveled. So now this is what my tray should look like and you're gonna let this dry overnight. And this is to be used outside because E6000 is waterproof. For the gems, I'm gonna be using a different method to save some glue. I'm gonna add the glue directly on to the gems and then place them onto the pan. So make sure that you're adding it to the flat side. 
again so that you can have a nice leveled tray and add them randomly or you can make a little design that's totally up to you and your preference but this saved a ton of glue and this is waterproof so you can use it outside and this is what it looks like so now I'm going to use this handle which I did purchase at Lowe's and I think they're so pretty. So I'm going to add E6000 to the bottom of this. You can also buy small screws and screw this on for extra security but because this is such a heavy tray I wouldn't really recommend it. If you didn't have the stones of course I would but this is more of a decorative tray. So I'm going to position it on the side of my tray. And like I said, these are the screws it comes with. You're gonna have to buy smaller screws if you did wanna screw it into the bottom. So I did this to my other tray as well. Make sure that you let this dry overnight and bam, you have beautiful decorative trays that can be used outdoors for your barbecue, for your patio decor, for whatever you'd like. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and thank you so, so much for watching. Till next time.